Hello everyone, Adam, Corpulent Geek here. And now, of course, everyone's entitled to their opinions about things, and I'm not one to go and stomp all over that. But today I read an article uh, about James Cameron, and some of his quotes just kind of uh, annoyed me. Uh, in fact, here they are. I'm hoping we'll start getting Avenger fatigue pretty soon. Not that I don't love the movies, it's just, come on guys, there are other stories to tell. You can't have it both ways, Jimmy. Why don't you just say, I love your stuff, but I hope there's enough room at the box office for when my stuff comes out. Sure, there are other stories to tell. Hmm, let's tell a story, a hundred year old story, about a boat that sank. You know, a story that was maybe told, I don't know, 74 other times. Oh no, I'm sure that's an exaggeration. Wait, let me look. Oh, uh, 18 movies and 24 TV shows talked about the sinking of the Titanic. Yeah, that's a new story to tell. Hmm, more stories to tell. What about if we talk about robots that come back from the future? Yeah, no, that's, that's a good idea back in the 80s. Yes, good job. That, that's semi-new then. You did it pretty well. So that's a, that's a good story. Hmm, wait, let's uh, reboot that. Oh, yeah, okay. They uh, Other people rebooted that. You know, you didn't have anything to do with that. So that's okay. I understand. Now now that that reboot didn't go too well, you're probably just going to let... What? You're, you're rebooting a rebooted Terminator? Okay. More new stories to tell. It's okay. I understand. I get it, though. Uh, other stories to tell, you don't want too many stories being told in the same universe. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that you're worried about... Uh, Avatar and Titanic may be losing their places at the tops of the box office. Because, you know, I mean, those are dominant movies. And what, what was that that says there? That news alert coming across? Black Panther just beat out Titanic and now holds the number three spot. Oh, Black Panther, an entirely new superhero that's never had a movie done about him. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Sure, it's in the MCU and they tell a lot of stories there, but there's so many characters to do in there. D don't worry. I'm sure that this Avengers Infinity War won't come in there and usurp any more of your movies. It's okay. I'm sure Avatar is safe at number two. Avatar. Wait, I feel like I've heard news stories about that recently. Let me Google again. Oh, wait. Avatar, yeah, you're doing some sequels for that. All right, more news stories to tell. Uh, this can't be right. This is, you're doing four sequels. Four sequels? That sounds like another big movie universe to me. It's okay, though. I'm sure that this one will be different. Oh, look, it's not going to be like a shoot 'em up movie like the last one. Because he, in that article, he also complained that everyone's just blowing up cities and stuff. Uh, this one's going to be more about family. Oh, all right. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's okay. He just compares it to one of the greatest movies ever, The Godfather. I'm going to make a science fiction Godfather. It's all good. Y'all just stay back. Watch my smoke. All right, so all this stuff I've complained about so far did get under my collar, but it wasn't until we get to this next quote that I said, no, I have to sit down in front of a camera. This is too much. There's other stories to tell besides hyper-gonadal males without families doing death-defying things. Without families. Why does everyone forget about Hawkeye? Hawkeye is nowhere to be seen in these Avenger trailers or the posters or anything. He's got to be doing something super secret and awesome. And he has a family. He has a family he takes care of. He worries about doing construction on the house and making the house bigger. His family's, granted, he's kind of the only one I can think of, maybe? Well, I'm sure that there are others. But Hawkeye! Hawkeye! I know that James Cameron has been doing some interviews just for this sci-fi docu-series that he's doing. And that's all well and good. And sometimes you gotta stir the pot and everything. And he is a, an awesome director and very creative and everything. But just sometimes when someone says something that sounds super hypocritical to me, I need to vent about it. So, this is the first in a series of rants. Maybe first in a series? I don't know. It all depends. I do get PO'd a lot. We'll see. Tonight... Also, if you're watching this Sunday the 22nd, happy Earth Day, uh, my brother and I are going to be doing a little sit-down tonight at 8.30 Eastern where we're going to talk about uh, Avengers Infinity War and all the things that the casual Marvel fan needs to know going into this movie. And I'm going to do quite a bit of talking about what you need from uh, Black Panther because I understand everyone doesn't get to make it out to the theaters as much as they want. 
even though Black Panther made a ton of money and tons of people have seen it, you may not have, but you do want to see Avengers and you would be missing out. There are, there's some backgroundy information you need uh, to know. Uh, so tune in tonight, 830. If I'm smart, I've somehow figured out how to put a, a link that pops up over there. But no matter what, I definitely have a link down in the description. So hit it up later. I said hit it up. That's Mark Maron's thing. I need a thing. Got any suggestions for a thing? Let me know down in comments below.